Hey, how y'all doing? It's Dooley's here. I haven't had a video in a while because I've been feeling kind of crappy. Uh, been having some problems with my stomach. Maybe, uh, perhaps it's GERD. I don't know if you know what that is, but it's like advanced acid reflux. Like, I can feel burning all the way from here, all the way down to my stomach. Stomach is freaking out. Anxiety is out of control. So, i just been laying around taking my medicine and uh, I'm back, I'm feeling a little bit better. Um, had to quit doing a lot of things to, uh, you know, make it this far, but I'm not there yet. Can no longer drink alcohol. I have to eat small, tiny meals. Oh, it's, can't smoke cigarettes, which I should have probably quit anyways, but at least uh, there's gonna be a healthy future for your friend McDooley's. So I decided to do my first video back, a video that I wouldn't have to like think much on because it's something that's close to my heart, and that is Nintendo, the original Nintendo. You know, I, I think that a lot of people out there are interested in, in starting to collect for things that they have nostalgia for, but they're not quite sure where to start, and they don't have a lot of money maybe, or they don't want to start out the gate just spending mad money on something that they're not sure they're going to like. So, me, being one of the cheapest people on the planet, <laughs> I found a lot of games that I remember playing as, you know, as a kid that I really enjoyed or I have nostalgia for or they look cool on my shelf. So, let me go ahead and show you some of those and I'll start with the games that I got in box. Me and my dad used to play this game. I don't know how many of you all out there like it, but it's, it's uh, RC Pro-Am Racing. It's not too complicated, but it's a lot of fun. And this game in the box, I can't remember where I picked it up. It was like a flea market or something. And it doesn't sell for much any, anywhere, you know. It cost me like $5. And <laughs> it has, <laughs> the manual comes with it. Game looks nice. You, you guys probably recognize the, the game, you know. Another game I really like. Snake Rattle and Roll. I got this one in the box. I had to have it. I got this for, for 20 bucks, I believe, or maybe a little bit less than $20, which is not good but not bad. You could probably find this for $15 in the box and everything. If not, then let me know. I got a great deal. But from what I recall, you can find this for 15 bucks. Without the box, you know, maybe eight, ten bucks. Snake Rattle and Roll is a really fun game, you know. That's why I got it in the box because it's fond memory of Something that me and my parents used to check out, you know, mostly I played. My folks are into uh, shooter games, mostly, so, I mean, there's a disconnect there. Shooter games are not my favorite, I like RPGs. Here's a game I I really like that uh, was controversial because it didn't wasn't exactly like the first Zelda game. You know, uh, The Adventures of Link, The Adventure of Link, uh, Zelda 2. I got this, this case uh, was specially made by a fan of the game and this is the original cart one of the original carts the gold one and I also have the gray one because that's how much I like the game it's it's a really difficult game I've never beaten it but I've played it plenty of times and I'm, I probably won't ever beat it but I'll, I'll probably play it again several times Iron Sword Wizards and Warriors 2 this is another case made by a fan and here's a nice looking cart not a repro of the original but in a case set made by somebody who likes to dress things up <laughs> and of course you can get this game for near nothing because Nintendo made a bazillion of them <laughs> the original Dragon Warrior as y'all know it Dragon Quest this box is in bad condition I got this this right here for less than ten dollars the box and it's not unusual no manual but nice looking version of the game it's fun you know if you're a hardcore you know Nintendo fan and you're a hardcore RPG fan you can play it it's not Dragon it's not Dragon Quest 3 <laughs> but it's still cool you know it's, it's the first uh, real JRPG I mean there are other RPGs that came before it. Speaking of that, 
one of the first wi widely known uh, RPGs that you know the West started at all. You know, this RPGs are based off of Dungeons and Dragons, basically. And uh, Ultima was one of the series that you know started the whole deal. And Exodus Ultima, while not being the first Ultima, is an Ultima game. So I thought it would be a, a you know cool piece of history. This game cost five dollars. All these games I've shown you so far, these ones in the boxes, they're ten, fifteen dollars. I don't think I, I don't have very many games that cost more than fifteen dollars. Tetris, you have to have Tetris. It only costs five dollars, ten dollars. You have to have it. I mean, you're gonna play it. You're gonna have people over and see who can get the highest score. You know, laugh at your friends when they don't do very well. Marble Madness. This cost me five dollars with shipping. Captain Skyhawk, me and my dad and my mom, we played the hell out of this game in the early 90s. One of my favorite shooters on the system, highly, highly underrated game, Captain Skyhawk. You gotta have Captain Skyhawk, you gotta play it. It gets pretty difficult, but you know, it's a Nintendo game, come on. Super Mario Bros. 3, you might have to pay $20 for this, but... I didn't pay twenty. I paid. I paid about fifteen dollars for it. The, I think the only reason that this game isn't very expensive is because everybody I knew owned Super Mario Brothers. So if you don't know what Super Mario Brothers three is, you probably shouldn't be watching this video. I like shooter games, light gun games. I mean, Freedom Force, decent light gun game. Dino Ricky, another cheap game. That's awesome. Probably about ten, twelve bucks. Battle Toads. <laughs> if you want to piss your friends off and, and challenge yourself, play Battle Toads. Here's my favorite Mario game, Super Mario Brothers 2. A weird little game, hell of a challenge. Millipede. I bought this game because it was like five bucks. Let me be honest with you, it's it's okay. I like Millipede. I played it with my my folks like it. I played it with them. Metroid. Another difficult NES game, very cryptic, but you have to have Metroid. This game probably costs you about 15 bucks, to be honest with you. You might have to pay 15, 20 dollars. Rampage, another game that me and my dad played in the arcade and played at home, and it's just absolutely nostalgic for us. I don't think my mom liked this one too much when I was a kid. It's so stupid. It is a little stupid, but it's satisfying. Robocop, which I consider a decent game. Heavy barrel with some writing on it, because I'm so cheap. I said, screw it, I'll clean the writing off. And but the label is great. Heavy barrel. If you don't know what heavy barrel is, it's not expensive to pick up. I mean, 10 to 15 bucks to pick up, but it's it's absolutely just so great. It's like something like Contra, kind of. As promised, here's my other copy of Zelda 2: Adventures of Link. I had to have the other one that looked different because I just love the game. It doesn't cost a lot of money. Cubert, one of my mom's favorite games, so I had to get it. I like Cubert. I'll play it for about 20 minutes and get tired of it. If I'm doing good, I'll play it for an hour, but it's rare that I do good at the game. Honestly, my mom's better at it than I am. Probably my sister. Defender 2. My parents both love it. Had to get it. I love it. Nostalgia, nostalgia, punch out. One of my favorite games on the system, absolutely fantastic. Not the one with Mike Tyson because that one costs a little bit more, but you can get this for under twenty dollars. Mike Tyson one might cost you a little bit more than twenty dollars. I'd like to have both. I'm probably gonna end up buying the Mike Tyson version. You know, if you don't know, you know there was a copyright issue. Blah blah blah. They they eventually had to stop <laughs> putting Mike Tyson in the game, I guess. And had some weird looking white fella, you know, generic guy. <laughs> At least put Holyfield. <laughs> Here's Ice Hockey, a game that, that you, you're going to need this. This game doesn't cost nothing. I paid six bucks for this game, maybe. Maybe six dollars. person was pretty nice about it. Six dollars with, with, you know, no shipping costs. And if you have a friend over, you're going to want to, you're going to want to have this game. It's just absolutely fantastic. Golf, I've played this before. I, don't, I think I suck so bad at it, I stopped playing it, and I wanted to try it again as an adult, and I have not yet. I will. I'll probably play it, you know, 
family get together and say, remember this game and how much I sucked? Here's my second copy of Golf <laughs> because I accidentally bought it twice, so that's that's going to a friend. Deadly Towers. I haven't played this since I was a kid. I remember it being mediocre, but hey, another five ten dollar game. The original Legend of Zelda and Mario Brothers, Super Mario Brothers two and Super Mario Brothers three are my favorite games on the NES, and uh, they're all very cheap. And I think that's a place that you should start. Right here we have uh, Bases Loaded 2, second season. Uh, I had this game when I was a kid. It's okay. You know, it's fun to play with uh, a friend. Ninja Gaiden 2, I've never played this. But I heard it was good. And I had Ninja Gaiden as a kid. I loved it, so. I heard part 2 was better. I'll try it out. I have my Ninja Turtle games here. Manhattan Project, never played it. Thought it looked pretty cool. Of course, I played this uh, Ninja Turtles arcade game at the arcade with my uh, dad on a Friday while we ate checkers and vomited from, you know, food poisoning. <laughs> oh, hey, this one's got to be up there with uh, Mario 2 and 3. And, uh, of course, Legend of Zelda, the original game. <laughs> the original Ninja Turtles game. Most underrated game of, in the history of history. Yoshi's Cookie. Another puzzle game, you're going to want to play, it's like Tetris, kind of, no, not really like Tetris, yeah, it's a puzzly kind of game like Tetris, or, <laughs> but you know, it's, it's fantastic, you're going to want to have that when your friends are over. Kung Fu, a lot of people say Kung Fu is great in its simplicity, I think it's just okay. It was six bucks, free shipping. Spy Hunter, uh, Spy Hunter, you know. It's very common, you can get it cheap, that's why it's here. Uh, you know, Spy Hunters, <laughs> try to get a high score and beat your friends. It's fun. Here I got Rygar, average game, you know, very cheap. Batman, very cheap and very great. You're gonna need to have this, it's just Batman the video game, you know, don't get fooled. Bet you want Batman the video game on NES, and you're gonna be very happy. Has ninja guiding y wall jumping. It's got you know lots of Batman weapons and you punch the hell out of people. I mean it's fucking it's, it's great. <laughs> Dr. Mario. Everybody knows Dr. Mario. You know, if you don't know Dr. Mario, then like this like might not be the video for you. <laughs> Excite bike. Uh sight bike, I, I had this, everybody I knew had it. It's one of the best games on the NES. I don't know if you know this game. This is Blaster Master. I mean, beautiful. I think the cover is beautiful. I played this game yesterday. I play this game all the time. I play it every month. I love it. I, I'm terrible at it. I like a lot of NES games. I'm not a very good <laughs> NES player. I can play a PS4 game on extra difficult, hard, or whatever, but these NES games, they drive me crazy. Um, Track and Field 2 because it's a game that I had. I still haven't played it since I was a kid, and I probably won't play it until somebody will play it with me, which maybe never. Operation Wolf, I've never played this. It was cheap. I heard it was okay. I don't know if I'll ever play it, but it's part of the collection. Here's a must-have for the system. Kirby's Adventure. It's a beautiful cover. Looks great in your collection. There's lots of copies of it. It's an easier NES game. It's it's easy, just easy game in general. Um, but it's very satisfying, very fun. You know, eating people. <laughs> you know who Kirby is. <laughs> this game is King's Knight. Another beautiful cover. Great condition. I got this one. I'll let the get the focus right there for you. Beautiful cover. It's 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 a it's a hard game. Like you know, there's like a mage and a knight, and you, you have different choices and. It's very difficult. Me, my my father is a big shooter fan, like I was saying before, and he couldn't do much with it. <laughs> neither could I, and neither could my sister, who's a big shooter fan. Uh, here's Metal Gear. I had this when I was a kid. I remember always loving how the game looked, and was like, oh man, the cover's cool. You know, I just can't get far at all in it. You know, you don't even get a. You start the game out, and everybody kicks your ass, and you gotta hide. And I just wasn't used to that as a kid. I have. Haven't played it much. I think I played it once uh, about a year ago, 
didn't get very far, but I'm going to look into getting a strategy guide and finally beating the game after a million years, you know, <laughs> 20 plus years of trying. <laughs> Here's Snake's Revenge. I've never played it. It probably is just as crappy as the original. I had this game as a kid, Tiny Toon Adventures. It's a nice looking cover. I loved the show when I was a little kid. Don't judge me. <laughs> I had to get the game. My mom got it for me. And, you know, my dad probably paid for it. <laughs> but <laughs> had a good old time. I, I, I can't even remember half the stuff from the game, but I played it a bunch of times when I was a kid. I got this one in plastic because I don't, I don't want it to get dusty. This one is a great game. Ghosts and Goblins. You recognize Ghosts and Goblins. Come on. That game you kept trying to play over and over again and kept getting your butt whooped over and over again. I saw Mike Matei and uh, <laughs> Andrew Video Game Nerd James, James Rolfe play it and uh, they beat it. It probably only took them eight hours to beat a one hour game. <laughs> so that's seven hours of just frustration. <laughs> Goonies 2. I found out about this one from Mike Matei and James Rolfe. Angry video Shout out to Angry Video Game Nerd. <laughs> very crappy game that I had to add to my collection because it was cheap under ten dollars I may play it and laugh with my friends <laughs> NES play action football a terrible game that I picked up as filler for my collection to be honest with you and that's all I can find of my NES collection I don't think there's anything else sitting around here uh, I haven't been collecting uh, NES for very long so I mean I got about uh, 70 games here or something like that well if you're trying to start an NES collection you can find these games on eBay for you know $15 or less many of them you can have delivered to your house for five or six dollars uh, if you want a really really cheap start and you're collecting and see if you like it you know maybe get you Super Mario Brothers 1 with Duck Hunt you know there's a, there's a couple things you can get for real cheap um, alright well Mick Dooley's out. Oh my god, I forgot Fester's Quest. <laughs> A terrible game, but it's five dollars, so you can't resist. And hey, everybody loves Uncle Fester, so you yeah, probably should get Fester's Quest too. And see what everybody's talking about. See how crappy it is. See how much you can cry while you play it. Hey Brian, you ready to play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on NES and get really pissed off? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Alright. Let's do it, dude. All right, let's do it. <laughs> hey, how'd your tooth get broken? Well, on one of my days off when I was sick, I heard this loud bang while I was asleep. <laughs> I thought someone busted in my house and was in my bedroom because it sounded like it was right there in my bedroom. So I jumped out of bed, fist cocked back, but I was gritting down my teeth so hard, I <laughs> broke. <laughs> you know what the loud bang was? Construction next door. Let me see. I could pull it out. I want to see the picture in your phone. <laughs> Why did you say that, man? It looks like a fetus, like a bloody fetus. <laughs> I got ripped out by tongs. <laughs> it did get ripped out by tongs. Yeah. All right, let me zoom uh, in. God. Yeah, that right there is a tooth broken, which is why I had to come out. It's two fetuses kissing. Remember, a tip is that you can switch, uh, when you press start, you can switch the turtles, so don't let any of them die. And did you know that you could recover them when they die? Did you get captured? That I did not know, no. Yeah. Uh -huh. why, why did you scoot forward like that? <laughs> I you suck. Shut up. I suck at it too, don't worry. <laughs> Dude, Brian hasn't played this game in what? Over 20, two decades. 25 years. <laughs> At least you remember the double jump. Oh, I didn't know there was a double jump. Okay. Yeah. I thought that was a regular jump because I only hit it one time. I think you can hit the stars. Like, so instead of getting hit, you just hit the stars. <laughs> remember this guy in here, kid? Dang, that was easier than I thought it would be. Yeah. Keep saying that, buddy. <laughs> that would be 
saying that for long. There you go. See? Oh. You get the pizza, heal up. Get the hell out of there. Dang it. I ah, it took like half your life. Got some back. I didn't clear that jump either. That's what sucked. <laughs> Brian sucks. Hey, I survived, so shut up. Oh, you actually can attack while you're outside of school. Yeah. Okay. Ha 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 ha! Dang it, what the heck? I knew that, that dude was gonna hit you. <laughs> oh, you know how, how uh, you beat the techno drone? No. You had to have these things called scrolls that you get like in like after that water, that water stage. You got mm -hmm. past the water stage before, right? I don't remember. Oh, Bebop and Rock City. Hey. Yeah, you can jump up there, but you can't do any damn thing. <laughs> that's funny, right? Yeah, no, that's the only messed up part about it. <laughs> oh, wait, that's right. You can go inside buildings, too. You're gonna have to. This one's a pain in the ass. Don't use all your stars, dude. You need to how, save you, them. how do I switch? You're pushing the wrong oh, button, I think. Uh oh. Yeah. I forgot. Select. Hey, you can hit that guy. You gotta hit that guy before you get up there. That one dude that, that's throwing the stuff. That's the left. I was thinking I'd be able to cut this guy through the floor. He's done. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you push up, I think, when you hit. See? There you go. Oh, yeah. Get him, get him, get him. Now you gotta do it again. There you go. <laughs> That's the only way you can survive. And then, look, the respawning is horrible, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I didn't even leave that side of the screen. Yeah, you just get barely to the left of it. Get me some health here. So were you better when you were a kid at this? <laughs> mm, not really. Terrible, yeah. I mean, I was okay, but you gotta remember, this has been a over a couple of decades since I played this game. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't played it at all since I was a kid. I, I got past the water stage, and then after that, like, got ran over a few times and got pissed off and quit. <laughs> oh yeah, I remember that. I mean, you had to avoid the tanks. Yeah. Yeah, nobody wants to pick Mikey or Rath because their weapons are so short. Yeah. They suck. But they're good against, like, like uh, some, like some Michelangelo is supposed to be good against, like, flying things. He, oh, he yeah. does more damage against them. Did you know that? That they do different damage against different opponents? No, I did not it's know nuts, that. It's nuts, right? Like, why wouldn't they tell you that, like, you know, why wouldn't the game tell you? <laughs> if you don't have, like, Nintendo power, you're screwed, basically. So like you basically went in there for nothing. So you can farm the, the the pizzas. Like you can go back in again and get more pizza and go back in again and get more pizza. Yeah, I just definitely need the pizza for Leo because he was about dead. So when I was a kid, I would come in there and farm. But then sometimes I go in there. Ooh, I got the boomerang. Yeah, make sure you save it. You're gonna need it later. <laughs> I bet. Okay, that building's close. You gotta catch it. Oh, no, you don't have it. You sure it says I got 19 left? Yeah, but, you know, you wanna keep them. As long as you can. So, like, as, as long as you're, like, right, you're there when it comes back, you can catch it. Eh, can you hit me from that far away, Ed? Yeah. That's Nintendo. You gotta be precise, but the computer doesn't. Ah! I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Why didn't you jump? You can't. You gotta go. You gotta like push I left or right. Oh. Back off, Leatherface. <laughs> What's funny is there was this hack I remember seeing where you just run away. <laughs> whenever you fight um 
rock steady and there's like crates everywhere you use Donnie and then you stand on the tallest crate yeah. and he's right there you just keep hitting down and, and you have to wait till he ducks yeah <laughs> that's so stupid <laughs> angry video game nerves talking about that my hero mm -hmm. Don't get too close. <laughs> Can't help it. I slipped. Plus, I'm not used to these controls, man. Big old meat hooks. Oh yeah. Okay. Now I see. The controller is like smaller than a Hershey bar. <laughs> no joke, guys. I feel like Andre the Giant only held a beer can. If you don't believe me, look it up. Like Google it, and you'll see. Hello. What's that? I have a friend named Bill like that. When he holds a beer can, it's like it's like uh, those little tiny cups that they give the kids. You're just gonna let them die. Switch. <laughs> I'm trying to switch. I'm trying to back up too. The fire dudes. <laughs> okay, let's see how we do against this. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, crap. A chameleon. Okay. <laughs> All right, Ralph, you're up. Donnie would have been very helpful in this situation. <laughs> One more hit. Aw, <laughs> oh, crap. I thought they just... They only died down. Screen's all jacked up. There's too many people on the screen at once. Yeah. Playing Ninja Turtles is a total pain in the ass.